Hey guys, thanks for being here. I'm so glad you're here for another jewelry jar. Yes, I still have a few jewelry jars and we're going to look into this one. I almost didn't open this one. I was going to choose one that, that seemed uh, kind of lightweight and then I said, no, I think I'll just go for the heavy one. Might as well. And I will let you know that we are not going to do a heart to heart video tonight. I decided to eschew the heart to heart tonight because my heart is very heavy right now with many things that have occurred this last month um, and um, that I'm going through right now. My heart is very heavy and um, not only with loss and everything that um, I know a lot of us go through every single day. None of us are immune to that. But also with uh, just uh, things that, that were disappointing, honor systems that were not in place, things of that nature. And I just don't want to uh, go into a show where I kind of bare my soul without really assessing my feelings about things. And um, I just uh, decided to take a little bit of processing time. And that's what I'm going to do with my heart to heart. And I will come back with it next Monday. Plus, I think we all just need a little bit of levity in these times. And nothing does that better than jewelry, right? Jewels. But I know we enjoy the heart-to-heart. -heart. I do as well. But I will definitely be back with it. It's just for my own sake and my own... My own... What is the word I'm looking for? my own pro I mean, there's no other there's no substitute for just processing i need time to process things and then i will come back with a with a you know as they say sleep on it <laughs> that always helps St sleep on it and breathe and then we have bags to look at and jewelry and that is always true and honest and fun so it's so not always what we want sometimes we get Things we don't really want. Isn't my little thing so cute? I just love finding things that I haven't seen in a while. This has been buried in the back of my table for a little while. It ha It's a little, I guess, pencil case. It says Keats, Whitman, and Bacon. Wonderful literature is always another great escape. So if you guys have the time, I hope you have time to read as well. Let's go in this. And I uh, still haven't heard anything about my Goodwill opening up. I think it may come probably later this month. I'm hoping. Everybody's so anxious. And um, I am going to go check my other thrift store, though, because the one that I told you I saw the that was open on Friday, I believe, it's a chain, and they carry jewelry jars, too. And they have really nice jewelry on the counter, so I need to go check it out. I just haven't, I don't know, I've just been going to the post office. That's been my only run. <gasps> post office. Got some gunk there. I'm tear that out. That's grossing me out. My dust bunnies from being under my bed. That's what I need to do, be dusting. That's what I need to be doing. But I'm so busy at work, too, guys. I really have a lot of extra work now that we're working virtually so to speak everything has to be proven on paper so that just generates a lot more time behind the screen for me welcome everyone i'm so glad you're here i do appreciate you being here and uh, helping me to to escape inside of a mystery bag jewelry jar if you're new to the channel please subscribe if you love jewelry i think you will love this channel we do a lot of jewelry lurking, <laughs> and we love these jewelry jars because we never know what's going to be in them. I do a lot of live videos, but I do record them as well when I'm kind of in a little bit of a hurry. I have some unboxings I want to do as well, so look for those to go up probably tomorrow. And uh, we just like to look at pretty things, and I think you might like that. There's also, right over here by the screen, there's a subscribe button. It's on the screen all the time. Hit that to subscribe, and then hit the bell, because the bell will notify you when I go live. 
or when I put up a new video. And many people are mistakenly making comments, which is perfectly fine to make them in the comment section. I so appreciate it. But I, I just, uh, my heart hurts when you're asking hello, when you're saying hello to everyone and no one's responding back because it's not a live video. But we love the comments after the video it has has been uploaded. So please leave them, especially if you see something in here that I didn't recognize or anything. Let us know what you know. It's always fun to learn more. But when you do get notified for a live, you can comment on in real time. It looks like 30 people are here. Thanks for hitting that thumbs up as well. Hi, Mary Ellen and Yvonne. How are you? Jen Sa Sassy Smith, Christine. I saw Vanessa in here. Audi as well. Susan, Karen, Jude, and my beautiful princess friend here, Casserole Carla. Sanja, how are you? Okay, we have Safari Club International. What a cute little pin. I love these little critters. I guess what? What do you think this was? 50, 40th anniversary to the Safari Club International. This might translate on eBay. Sometimes these things really do. Someone may have lost theirs or it may remind them of someone. This is a little bit of... A little dirty in the cording, but what a pretty color. It's acrylic. Hi from Germany, how are you? Good to have you here. Thank you so much for being here. This is really nice. I wonder if we couldn't remake that with some links that wouldn't get so sullied, right? Oh, you did, <laughs> Linda. It's so funny. I retold the story to my sister yesterday and we made her chuckle and she said I was 100% right. She said I was totally right about it. <laughs> And she agreed that those be not all beans go with all meals. You gotta know. I mean, it's just like, you know, you guys know. You know when you want to spend when you want to serve Brussels sprouts instead of broccoli and whatnot, right? Same thing with beans. Not all beans go with everything. But anyway, that's so cute. I love this. This almost looks like a locket, but I don't think it opens. It's kind of like wait. It looks maybe like from Claire's or something. But I like it. It's got some some appeal chain is not as light as the charms appear to be but they're still cute very nice let's see what else is here oh one of these these look like crystals yes they are and it is signed aeo american eagle and yeah these look like crystals can you see some of that um striations and things in there whatever they're called Inf infusions what are they called carla and jude know i know they know they don't look like glass and then the little teeny ones are metal hi miss susan you're doing some green beans what'd you say green bean dish oh nice i love green beans too so many vegetables I, I love and I love artichokes and I keep watching videos on making artichokes and I haven't attempted to make them I'm still on the cutting part that's kind of tricky this is really really long quite intricate needs a bath but very nice wood beads on here and then some rings also wood and shell very cute there is an outfit that needs this. I don't have that outfit, but I might be able to um, conjure it up as soon as the Goodwill opens. Yeah, that's pretty. I love the colors. Very pretty. Usually these wood ones don't have all of these kind of um, jewel tones. That's very pretty. Hi, Miss Carla. I'm glad you're here. This is a heavy gunmetal. It has little sparkles in there, like little stones, rhinestones. Hi, Miss Jody. I'm glad you're here. Isn't that pretty? It's a nice size, too. It's not too big. Bangles are sometimes so big. I don't know why, especially the, the plastic ones, and they're so cute. These are very nice. 
These are wood as well. I'm going to do an unboxing later too, guys. I'll probably do that one live. I just want to hang out with you guys. This one's pretty. It looks like bone because of the color, but it's wood. Not bone. It looks more like ivory, actually, to me. Very nice. I love those chunky ones. Oh, look at this. Someone tried their hand at the wire wrap thing. Hi, Miss Mary Ellen. What happened? You freaked out about what now? Let me see here. A tour of family. Hmm. Oh, the family thrift? <laughs> Yes, yes. Some of my uh, ride-along videos. It looks like a planetary scene or something, doesn't it? Almost looks a little celestial with all those little rings around it. No, did you send me something, Jude? I have not received a package today. But I'm telling you, the mail is crazy. Some days I'll have like five, six packages out there. And then the mailman doesn't actually come till about four o'clock. He comes pretty late. What time is it now? Five? So I'll have to go check for today. But I will look in just a sec. This is cute too. I love this. I think it's called Festoon when they do this. This is pretty. It is acrylic. It looks brand new. has absolutely no wear. And very light and looks comfy no maker on it I like the little stations they did here that's very nice and it is long very pretty here's a pretty bracelet looks a little bit I was gonna say Brighton but I can see it's a um, premiere and it's nice very pretty. Still has a very nice color. Premier has very nice jewelry. I remember going to their parties. They were nice. They were expensive, too. And they had a few sterling pieces. Not many. These are pretty little door knocker style. And they are post. They also have a little brighten effect to them. Very cute. Look at this. Oh, these rings are so popular too. Isn't that nice? Lots of different textures on that. Kind of a bead look on some of these. Very, oh, let me show you the ring I just got. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Oh my gosh, I love it. I think, I want to say Zuni, but then this metal work, this stamp work, is so Navajo. So maybe it's Hopi, I don't know. But I got it from a fabulous seller, and you know what she sent me? This is an online seller that I just discovered, and she is fabulous. This is not the only piece I got from her. But she sent me a mask, a homemade mask. She makes masks. <laughs> She sent me a beautifully packaged homemade mask. She sent me a mug. And she sent me about two other pieces of jewelry along with my purchase. Talk about customer service, guys. Oh, my gosh. You can bet. You can bet. Let's take this to the A-listers now. You can bet I put her on my favorites over and over again. Double check to see if she was still there. Oh, my gosh. Yes. And my husband's actually wearing the mask. He, it actually fit him. And it's just a plain color. It's like a tan so he really, you know, he had tried to, to wear one that my sister sent that she had made, but it didn't fit him right. And this one fit him just right. I guess the way it was constructed was just a little bit more conforming to a bigger face. So it was just amazing for her to do that. This is cute. Kind of a puka shell. And uh, shell pieces as well here. That'll go into the beach hippie lot. So, oh my goodness, I fell in love with that ring, and I did buy some more pieces from her. 
she's an estate hunter, I believe, is what she said in her profile. Estate sale hunter. And, oh my goodness, her prices are incredible, too. This is pretty. It's just kind of a base metal, or what do they call that? Pot metal, I don't know. Very cool. It's even got little metal beads right here that dangle, kind of. But I couldn't wait to show you that ring. Oh my goodness, I'm so in love with it. I did, I did, Liz, and I'm going to do an unboxing along with another one that I got. And I'm waiting for one from Miss Jude. Jude just said she sent me something too. I don't know if I'm going to do an unboxing for everything, but I know I have yours to do and um, the other one that's coming from Canada. I don't know what this is, guys. Do you know? But thank you so much, Liz and Jude. I don't know what it is. I guess it's some kind of a clasp. See, it opens, but on both sides. There and there. I guess it could be um, maybe a finding for a necklace. Do you think? Oh, this is cute. This is pretty. Look, Vanna, it's red. <laughs> Vanessa hates red. I don't know how anybody can hate red. I love red. It's so cute. Is that glued on there? What in the world? Look at that. It's like stuck. I'll have to, maybe they did that on purpose. It's an interesting necklace. Look. I don't know. I love the beads. They're kind of a faux coral. They're very nice. Very interesting. You like dangles? You need to like red. Oh, look at this, guys. This is just somebody's little project waiting to happen. Look at that beautiful color. Oh, that makes sense, Miss Susan. For sure. Look at these beads. They are interesting. I don't know if they're glass because they probably are. Maybe they're a gemstone. I don't know. Because some of them, some of them are a little bit more opaque than the others. And of course they're just on this little string, like I said, waiting for a project. I love them. They are like a true butterscotch, huh? Very heavy, very cold. What do you guys think they are? They do have kind of a banding in them too. Can you see that? They almost have like a little egg, egg yolk looking opaqueness to them here at the bottom of this one. And then some of them are a little bit more clear. Oh, I need to. I wish I had time to restring beads. Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. Oh, look at this bracelet. Oh, I love this. What do they call this link? Oh my goodness gracious. Look at that. That looks so exotic. Maybe glass. They're so beautiful, Miss Susan. This is just a gold tone, but I am in love with it. And it's got like a, it may have been um, like a gold plating. They look like little bees nests or some beehives. You see that? They're like coned. That is cute and it's very heavy. It's got a box clasp. I don't see any kind of a maker mark on it. And the hinge is so interesting too. It's like a bead in the hinge. Sea urchins. I touched a sea urchin once at our little aquarium here at the zoo. I love the zoo. We're having virtual tours of the zoo. The kids are able to go from our school, they do, they're doing virtual um, field trips. Those are fun. Look at this, this is pretty. Looks like a J. Crew. did y'all hear J. Crew just went belly up, falling for bankruptcy. Not a surprise with a lot of things going that way, but don't we love their jewelry? I think they do so, such beautiful 
work on jewelry. This does not have a mark of any kind though, but it's pretty. It's gunmetal. It's kind of the blonde beige gold on that. Cute. And here's a tagged zero. <laughs> it's tag zero. From Saison Sensitive Skin. Cute. A little stretchy. Still tagged. Maybe it came with something. It might have been part of another set or something. It's probably why it has zero on it. Yes, I love the J. Crew stuff too. It's a little silver tone. Macy's as well, yeah. It's just hard to compete with the fast fashion pieces and online. This is the unique Australian gift, and it is, uh, I guess, a boogie board of some sort, right? It's wood. It's cute. Beach closed sharks. Very cute little key ring. So it's got some uh, some other cities there listed. And we have a stretchy ring. And it is really messed up, so I'm going to put it in a crafter lot so someone can use the top of it. It's pretty stretched out. I know, I know. Uh, a friend of mine works at Michael's, and she's been, her business is booming <laughs> with people staying home. Puzzles, crayons, all kinds of craft things are really selling. This is acrylic. Very pretty necklace. So she's been working... Um, Pretty much for about the, all of last month, they were open. Now, they do have some kind of um, st social distancing policy. I think they only let 25 people in at a time. Okay, what is this? Greatest lover. Oh, my goodness gracious. Oh, my goodness gracious. <laughs> that is so cute. You know a man would love to get this. Oh my gosh. Would they love that. For Father's Day or something. Oh my goodness. <laughs> He'd probably like that better than an expensive watch. Well, maybe not. <laughs> yeah, many of Macy's, is, Macy's stores are closing. This is kind of a um, blonde gold color as well. It's a little short necklace glass beads on those. That's pretty. Yeah. But I don't know. Macy's has um, great sales. I, I love their sales. Okay, this one someone made out of, uh, I think, I don't think they're real pearls, but they do feel like a good quality black bead here. They're very heavy. And nice, and they're for your glasses. I've been finding a lot of those too. In some of these jars for sure. Here is a oh, someone tore it up and it was leather. What a shame. It was big too. Nice and long. But they cut it right. Wonder if that's not branded. Nope, don't see anything on it. Still a nice piece to add to a crafter lot, though. Someone might be able to repair that pretty quick. I know. I love shopping. There's a lot of things that I have to go in person to buy. There's a lot of things that you can't find anymore. It's so interesting. I was trying to find hosiery, and I could not find it. I could not find it. And when I did find it at Macy's, they had a very, very limited section. And the lady, this is a little stretchy. It is acrylic. The lady says, we don't sell hosiery anymore, so we really cut it down. We used to have this entire floor, she said. And now they have a little tiny section and very limited. I mean, like they had no, what was I looking for? I think I was looking for black and brown and blue, you know, going different colors of stockings and um, they had mostly like really shiny ones or or patterned like fishnet only and everything so it was very difficult okay I thought these might be signed 
or Hallmark, but they're not, and they're actually kind of faded already. I think they were a gold tone. There's a silver one. This one. And it does. It says ATI925. It's a nice size hoop. I hope I find the other one. What is this? Oh, this is cute. Hearts. Ch uh, little clovers. This is a pretty color, too. Okay, I had it wrong. I was holding it wrong. That's super cute. I love the colors on this. And the blonde, the use of the blonde gold as well. A little heart charm, a little clover, another heart, beads, and that peach and pink combination is very sweet. So I like that a lot. That's very cute. Oh my gosh, look at these oversized pearls, guys. These are huge and heavy. And they have a little stain on them. Like marker or something. Oh my gosh, these are cute. They're humongous. They are really big. They're not stretchy. They have a couple of black stains. I don't know if they'll come out. Look at that. Oh my goodness gracious. Those are bigger than size, maybe even bigger than that. And they have a couple of little black stains, but they may come out maybe with a little <gasps> very 90s, I would say. Then we have <laughs> Yes, they are. They're they're all, to me they're always in style. They just come out with different innovative ways to wear them. This is green. It is one of the Eli. I put one of these in my hippie lot and the lady that bought one last time said she was so happy that she just put a battery in it and started working so nice. So I'll probably put this one in there too. So cute. I like the green color. Oops, wait, move the camera there. Here's a nice one. I don't know if this is real amber. I don't think so. To look at it under a black light. Who is at the door? Oh my goodness. Slamming doors. It has an interesting lock. Hi, Miss Lena. Latina shop. How are you? Oh, it's look, it's Hallmark. Let's see what it says. I like it. Du Del Place Laura gosh what does it say Laurel Place Doro Place I don't know that's what it says and I thought it was one of those crazy kinds of clasp that you have to like slide open but it's like this one you think it's amber awesome well, it says Dara Place or Laura Place on there. And it's definitely got some inclusions. Interesting. Could be faux. I'm going to look at it under a black light. It's got some little beads there. Almost looks like it's artisan made, too, because... How is the stream going, guys? I saw it go black on me for a second. Because um, the hardware up here is gold, but the beads are silver. So that's pretty regardless. That's a very pretty necklace. I like it. Good, good, good. Thank you for letting me know, Jody. I'm glad you're doing well, Miss Lena. Okay, this is black and bold and big and cute. And it is acrylic. That's pretty. I had on a black onyx ring earlier. I took it off. But I do love black jewelry. Okay, this is a little mom bracelet. It says baseball. Cute. These are real leather straps. And then here is 
some interesting beads too. Look at these. I thought it was a rosary at first, but I don't know. But look at this one. So cute with these charms. Big key. More hearts. Nice heart skeleton key. I almost like this heart by itself without these other dangles. And they're not a part of it. They're just kind of dangling there. That is super. I like that a lot. That's really cute. Just a costume piece, but so pretty. Very pretty. Okay, here's a nice gold hoop. It's got a little vertigree on it, though. But it's cute. And here are these interesting beads. They are broken. They are knotted. I don't know what they are. They're so fun. They're so fun. Nice sound. Nice feel. I don't know. Beadlock. <laughs> Somebody can do something with those beautiful beads. They also look um, like ivory, but they don't sound like it. This is from Chaps. Ralph Lauren chaps very pretty necklace too in black these are acrylic i love the little toggle that's pretty i might wear that like to the side like that that's very pretty very nice okay what else do we have here we have some clear plastic acrylic i don't think they have a they're so pretty. They're kind of opalescent colors, too. Got a little bit of a opalite look to them. But they're faceted, and they have like a foil or something inside, so they have a lot of depth. You'd have to put that over your head, though. Okay, we have an angel brooch. She's pretty, and she is singing from the hymn there, from the hymnal. Very nice. No maker on it. We have this one. I don't know. I feel like I've seen this necklace before. Oh, this ribbon has had it. Little statement piece here. This needs a bath too. And I almost want to throw it in a crafter lot because I love the pieces of it. I think that could just look really nice taken apart. Honestly, there's so much potential in these um, big old statement pieces. This is awesome. I don't know what it is, but it's awesome. It's a cute blush color. It's kind of engraved with... Um, I don't know, that kind of looks deco to me. Can you see the pattern in that? It's very cool. Some kind of acrylic. Look at that. That's pretty. I really like it. Do you think it's vintage? Look at the style of it. It's not a simple bangle by any means. I like it. And the color is so pretty. Blush is like my favorite color in pastels. This is cute too. Purple. Gold tone. I think this, the stones may have fallen out of that though. I don't know. It's got like emptiness there <laughs> and I believe this is real leather so that'll probably go on a crafter lot as well a ring a nice little costume piece not adjustable it's cute gold tone it's pretty Nice to get a ring. I love getting rings, even if they're stretchies and costume. Very, very much in need of cutting these ribbons off, right? 
we can just put another clasp there and we'll have a nice strand of pink pearls. And then, what is this? Oh, a pendant. Sterling. Yes, thank you very much. Sterling Mother of Pearl. Onyx. That's nice. That looks a little bit like one I sold at my auction, except it was more of a Zuni. Looks like it just says 925 in the back. Let me double check. Let's see what it actually says. It says 925. And oh my goodness, I cannot read it. It looks like three initials. R something, I think. Hey, Miss Kelly, how are you, honey? Kelly, there's a troll with my name on it, so please be careful at your next auction. There have been several people using the name Thelma, which I'm a little leery about. But last night, there was one in three auctions bidding up, shill bidding. So please be very cautious when you put your auction out on Wednesdays. Guys, please check out Kelly's auctions. They're awesome. She has great jewelry. But be careful with that, okay? Because there's, there's, you know how it goes. Last time they did it on a couple of other auctions. People clone your name, they change the characters, and then they go bid on auctions. And they did it on Jen Layton's channel, and it was just horrific. Of course, you could easily tell it wasn't me. It was it had a picture of the person who happened to be male. Anyway, <laughs> but you know, when you're in the midst of a, a hot auction, you don't know. You're just taking the bids. I don't know. But just a heads up, I hadn't had a chance to text you and let you know. I like this little pendant, guys. It's so pretty. It's a lot of fire in that mother of pearl, too. It really is. Hi, Miss Tina. So nice sterling piece there. Let's just find that matching uh, earring, and we're good to go. Look at that. Very Chanel Ask. I love it. Very cool. This is comfortable and light, too. It looks very well made. That's pretty. Gold tone is so in, guys. So in. A little yellow. Stretchy. Nice. Don't you need that for some white jeans? Oh, cute. White jeans, a little straw purse. Oh, my gosh. Talk about getting you in the mood. Look at this. A little vintage piece. No missing rhinestones. Hallelujah. Isn't it precious, dude? Thank you. That's another buy I got from this same lady. I went back several times. <laughs> several times. I was like, oh my goodness. You can't believe this. what this lady finds. And she's like putting new things all the time. Look at this. That is so pretty, guys. I can't even describe this pink. This is an amazing pink. I cannot describe it. Oh, it's like a grapefruit. Like a really good juicy grapefruit. I found some great grapefruits. I actually accidentally, you know, with the Instacart, sometimes you have to order or substitute. You don't have to take it, but I substituted, I think it was three grapefruits or two grapefruits for a sack of grapefruit. So I had my fill of grapefruit last month, and oh my goodness, they were so good and juicy. I love this. Raspberry? Oh, it's gorgeous. I love that. That is pretty. I'm going to clean that up. I bet it's going to look so nice. We've got a little moon, and my daughter loves gold tone now. She already told me, Mom, I'm into gold. So she's going to love this. She loves anything celestial. And she already owns a lot of mine that are in silver. So now she's going to have to have this one. That's so pretty. It's got little rhinestones in it. Double chain, gold tone. You love grapefruit? I do too. I have to really be in the mood to eat it, but I love it. And it's so filling. I can see why some of my friends used to go on those grapefruit diets back in the 70s. Because they fill you up. I had forgotten how they make you feel so full. You almost can, you know, definitely substitute a meal. This is a little earring. That is only one so far. Here are some faux puka shells. And what else is here? Another broken piece. Some pearls. 
Oh, what a shame. And look, they had a nice clasp. But this part is broken. I think it was a double strand. That's probably what happened here. You put honey on grapefruit? I think my mother put salt. My mother put salt on it, if I'm not mistaken. And also on um, watermelon, she put salt. These are nice, guys. These were very, very nice pearls. I'm going to put them in a crafter lot or, or a bead lot. They're very heavy. You can tell they're glass. Yeah, I like mine with sugar, too. But I just ate it straight up. It was so sweet. Texas grapefruit is awesome. This is broken, too. Little ropey chain there. You put salt on grapefruit, too? Then they make this thing called tagini, I think it's called. Have you heard of that, Liz? It's kind of a Hispanic food. And I think it's a mixture of chili powder and salt. And a lot of people put that on their fruit. I haven't put it on my grapefruit. But I do like it on mango and grape. I mean, uh, mango and uh, what's the other fruit? Pineapple, watermelon. Oh, it's really good. I had a patient at the clinic where I worked. He was totally addicted to that stuff. He put it on all, I mean, everything. But he had, he had other issues with sensory and things. One time his mom told me, we can't have that anymore. He's not allowed to have it because he sprinkled it all over his room. Yeah. <laughs> this is cute. Yeah, apparently he, he decided to just go a little, a little sensory overboard and sprinkled it all over his room. This is really cute. Boy, we talk about everything in this jewelry hauls, don't we? It's okay. Some people don't like it, but they're going to have to get over it. We will do recorded videos for those who just want to look at jewelry. This is a Geneva. It's a little scratched. It's on a stretch band. It's a nice band. Yeah, yeah, Tajini's so good. I love it. Look, here's some earrings to match, but they don't have the they don't have the rhinestones, and we do have a match on them, so she's gonna love those too. Cute. I think she has about three or four piercings on each ear, so these will be a good fit for her for sure. Oh, look at this. This is glass. And it is the the illusion kind of, kind of like an illusion, but look, it didn't even get tangled because it's actually on metal. So it is not as, you know, troublesome as the fishing wire kind. That is super cute. It has kind of a teardrop and a little cone, bicone, I think they're called. Is that what they're called? And they're all faceted and then gun metal. And that is super. I like that. I had some really nice ones like this, and I sold them all at a couple of auctions ago. Now I have to replenish, replenish the stock. Yes, uh, Vanessa, I have. I saw one recipe for the whipped coffee, and I tried to remember it. Or I tried to finish watching the video, but she's kind of crazy and yells a lot, so I wasn't in the mood to hear her yell. But uh, I did see that she started with the Nescafe Instant Coffee, so I went ahead and ordered some, and I just made my own, and I did about two tablespoons of Nescafe instant coffee, and I used a big, you know, tumbler like like Starbucks, two tablespoons of instant coffee, then I put uh, equal parts coffee, which I guess was in about another cup of just regular brewed cold coffee that I had left in the pot from the morning. So filled that up about that much, and then the other half was all a creamer that I buy that's vanilla, which I don't normally cream my coffee at all, but my daughter puts it in her coffees. I always drink my coffee black. Then I topped it with ice, and I put some cinnamon and vanilla, and it was so good. It was better than anything I got at Starbucks. I'm not kidding. So I haven't even watched the recipe. I just got the idea that she started with the Nescafe that I did see. And uh, that's what I got. And there's so many good things you can make out of that dried coffee, that instant coffee. I also make a coffee fudge out of it. It is, you know, just amazing things you can do with it. So I kind of got got the, the lead way from her. I have to go back. Now I can't find her video. She puts about three videos a week. So i got to go back and watch all her videos. And sometimes I'm not in the mood to watch them all. But I do want to see what exactly she put. But I know a lot of people are doing it on TikTok too, right? This is cute, guys, and I did not see the other earring show up to this little silver hoop, which is sterling, but it may show up in the other bag. I think I have about four bags, five bags left from the exact same store, 
and the exact same time frame so it may show up I'm not too worried about it. this is cute this is so delicate guys I was gonna post a picture on Instagram on with delicate jewelry like my little my little Native American piece and I thought this was kind of delicate too because look how slim it is oh, I love it but anyway this kind of fits the bill too with that delicate stuff I love it especially the wine necklaces like this look how pretty they look this is like a rose gold color and then it's the bead ball it's in great condition just a little costume piece thank you so much Patsy how are you doing Miss Patsy how's your mom-in-law she doing okay uh, it has a maker here. What does it say? You do, Umberto? It's so cute. It has a mark on it. It says 8, 8 OR or 8 TR. I don't know what that is. It's cute. It's probably from Claire's or something, but it's such a cute little Y necklace. They just look so pretty. They really do. Oh, good. I'm glad to hear that, Miss Patsy. All right, let's see what this is. This is a little Rivoli on a very lightweight chain. By the way, the other day I found something that had a crystal like this, and someone said it was very likely um, Swarovski crystals. And she may be right, I don't know. But on the tag of the really, and this is the same thing, it said Germany. This is the same kind of, it's like a very lightweight chain, guys, like a little like a little gumball chain so I'm gonna look but the other one said made in Germany or just Germany There's barely any room on here so I don't know are Swarovski's from around there it's a beautiful crystal and the other one was bigger too wasn't it do you guys recall I don't know I think it was and I'm, I don't know if it was round or a heart this definitely looks like a fancy crystal though there is nothing but light going through their reflections Oh my gosh, look at that. On both sides. You look at it on this side, it's amazing. On this side, it's even more amazing. Wow, that's beautiful. Interesting how they put it on this very simple, lightweight, tinny chain. I don't see that this one says Germany, but the other one did. And it looked like the exact same kind with that same kind of clasp and everything. So interesting. Oh my goodness. I am so happy with this little $29.99 bag. Here's a little stretch. And um, I love the vintage thing here. The beads. What else did we get, guys? I think we got some really good stuff for $29.99. We are not complaining at all. And I love this little bangle. So I appreciate you joining me again. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of these fabulous videos that will come back to you over and over again at least two or three times a week. I'm hoping to do an unboxing today, guys. Um, I think I'm going to go check on my roast. I did make a roast today. And um, I haven't eaten it yet, so I'm probably going to take a little break to eat something and then come back. As I said, I'm not doing the heart-to-heart -to -heart tonight. I'm just way too moody to do a heart-to-heart -heart right now. But I want to do things that will really bring levity to both of us, all right? Thanks again, guys. Have a wonderful night. I'll see you in a little while.